So, hello everyone. I'm here with Fallen from Luminosity. So, how are you, Fallen? I'm good, and you? I'm very good. So, well, first of all, I want to know a bit more about us, about you, sorry, because uh, you, you are not so well known in France. So, maybe can you talk us through uh, what happened since you, leave, you left Kidstar, for example? Okay, so first, came back through K-Stars, we went to live in the United States to play at the SA tournament. It has been on May, I guess. And after that, after playing SWC, we received a good offer from Luminosity. So we have better condition to stay on North America, better salaries, better structure. So we decided to move. And after that, we were just practicing. We stood a little here in Europe, on Cologne, for two weeks practicing boot camp. And it's been pretty well right now. Okay, so most of the community, like most of the people see you as a quite underdog team but when we talk to pros they kind of tell us hey you have to worry about luminosity because they kind of beat us on practice so how do you feel about that do you think you are underrated well i mean practice doesn't say anything because you know people respect tournaments results right but practice kind of show that you have potential So it's, it's right, we, we won a lot of practice against good teams. We lost, of course, a lot of practice too. But that shows that we have finally got a level where we can beat those top teams. So this time against Fnatic, I think we have a good chance. They are an excellent team for me. They are the best in the world indeed. But we know how to counter them. At least I think we can counter them. How we did in the practice and how we think they play. And we might have a good chance there. Okay. And so. You, you did quite well at the last major because you qualified as... Uh, now, you went here as a legendary team. So how did you did you feel about it? Were you happy to be in the well-seated group coming here? Yeah, it's definitely a good thing to stay as legendary. Last time, you, we were the only team to be challenger and become legendary. And on this tournament, we are the only no European team to stay as legendary. That's important for us. It's a good result. Yeah, you are the last. You are the only last represent of the United States or yeah. of the America. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> so, you you kind of have uh, you you fell short against uh, Envy on Cobo. Can, can you talk about this match and especially about the insane shot you you made? Yeah, that shot was kind of lucky. It was a one versus three. I, I killed the first guy on the drop area. And then I, I knew that we we're supposed to have another guy close to the door yeah. because you went drop error too. So I said, no, man, it's lucky. Sometimes you feel something's counter strike. I, I bet everyone sometimes did that. Something came to my mind, just shoot and kill one. And I, and I did, like I didn't even stop walking. Like it's crazy. It was a really luck shot. And after that, I had to kill Kenny S. I got a bit unlucky because my teammates rushed at me. Like he said, you have no defuse kit, so you need to hurry. Then I started moving, Kenny S appeared. So it's like uh, I lost the chance to do a really great round, but it was indeed a great shot. And about the match itself, I think we, we had it, a great advantage. It was 13-11 for us, and then Envos did a good pause. They asked for pause. And I don't think we lost because of the pause, but we knew they were going to do a split B on this round. I felt that they were doing it. So we went with four people there, but we still lose it. Yeah. So, I mean, anyways, they were better this round. They got themselves back, and I think they deserve the win because of that. Okay. And then, so you had to play another match from the lower bracket, and you, so you had to play flip side, which showed another face yesterday. They were pretty strong, right? Yeah, I like a flip side. Uh, we lost for Daniel, yes, double C, yeah. but I can tell you they were way better this time, even if they lost for us this time, because we are better yeah. too. But like you can see they are playing really like a team right now. They are playing really well. I think they are on the right way to success. They were playing solid. And on that game, it's a bit lucky because we just we did what they playing against malls like 15 minutes before our game. So I knew some tricks, I knew uh, some stuff they were doing, and on the end that mattered a lot. Okay. So after all, you managed to pass through, and now you have to face Fnatic. Uh, did you prepare for that match? Do you, you did you watch Fnatic? Oh, I can tell you, everybody watch Fnatic every time because they're always the final, the finals. We have a joke in our team that Fnatic never receives the after party mail because they're always the finals, so they can't go for it. So the people don't even send it for the time. So we have our lives been watching them like the entire year. We know how they play. They know how we play because we practice a lot too. So it's going to be a time, man. I, I can tell you. Okay, so I'm going to wish you good luck. 
And uh, thank you for the interview. Do you want to add a few words for your sponsors and stuff? Yeah, of course. I'd like to thank all the French community. Uh, we saw some people cheering for us too. Like they really showed that we had a great hustle against one of the best teams in their history. I think this Envelos lineup is really awesome. I think they are really talented. And also, I'd like to thank our Brazilian fans, South American community, and you guys for the interview. Thank you. Okay. Good luck. Thank you.